Welcome to another free tutorial from dacanane.com. This tutorial will be the first in a series of tutorials covering Explain Everything. In this tutorial, I will simply be giving you an overview of the main features and tools. If I click on the gear in the top right here, a drop-down menu reveals to me the range of options available. The first tab deals with general settings related to creating content and how different imported files will be dealt with. The export tab allows me to set the resolution of my final video and the format I wish to save it to. I like to keep mine set to the highest output values. The next tab deals with the recording quality values. I have just left these as the default values here. The final tab deals with the linked accounts that you may want to share your Explain Everything content to. Here it is entirely your choice which service you wish to share your work via. To set up an account, all I have to do is to slide the relevant slider from off to on and then enter the appropriate third party account details to link Explain Everything to my chosen account or accounts. So, let's get into the meat of the app. First I need to create a new project by clicking on the plus sign in the top left of the screen. I'm then presented with four choices of template. The body colour represents the project background and the three stripes are the three default ink colours of that template. The new project opens and a toolbar appears on the left of the screen. I'm now going to take you through each of these tool options. The first is the pen tool. If I click on it, I can use it, but if I hold it slightly, a menu pops out that allows me to customise the pen tool. Next I want to change the colour of the ink that I wish to use. So I now click on one of the three ink options at the bottom of the toolbar. Again, press and hold until the edit menu appears. I can now use these tools to edit the colour to my own choice. To make the menu disappear, all I have to do is tap once on the tool icon and the pop out disappears. Next I'm going to look at the shapes icon, which is the icon underneath the pen tool. Once the pop-out menu appears, I can see the choices of the auto shape available to me. The colour of the shape will be determined by the selected colour swatch at the bottom of the toolbar. I'm going to select the arrow. To use the shape tool, I close the pop-out and then I draw in the white space by dragging my finger. I can switch between tools as I work, which is why it is best to set up the tool widths and colours etc. before I start to create any presentations. Next I'm going to look at the text tool. This tool is pretty self-explanatory. To type in the workspace, I simply have to click once, a cursor appears, and I can type. The next tool down is the Insert Object tool. I will explain this in more detail in the next tutorial. You just need to know that it's here. Below the Insert Media tool is the Delete button. This is simple to use. If there is anything you wish to delete, Simply click on the X in the toolbar and then click on any object in your workspace. A corresponding X appears in the object, click on it and the object is deleted. Finally for this tutorial is the laser pointer. This is a great tool. To use it, click on the icon and then trace your finger around the workspace and watch the magic happen. Well, that's it for this overview of Explain Everything. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. But until the next time, keep practicing!